There have been calls to replace someone like Manuel Lanzini in the sense that we need to get in a player who has his kind of traits. And I found someone in North America, specifically the city of Philadelphia, that could match this. His name is Daniel Gazdag. He is Hungarian and might be coming over to the Premier League if what I want to happen does happen and if someone does actually listen to me. Look, a lot of Hungarians are signed for the Premier League. Liverpool's got one now. Bournemouth's got one now. Who remembers Zoltan Gera from back in the day? Thomas Kadar. <coughs> West Ham had a Hungarian goalkeeper called Peter Kurush. Am I right in saying that? It's like 2008 era. Hungary, a country that can produce good football players. Gazdag has been so impressive at his time in the city of brotherly love that I'm showing him love here in Vancouver. So if he really wants to show what he can do in the Premier League, I suggest that he swaps Meek Mill and cheesesteaks for Governor B and Pie and Mash. I live in Vancouver, and Vancouver has an MLS team. Therefore, I sometimes keep tabs on what Major League Soccer is doing. One player who has certainly been quite impressive is Daniel Gazdag himself. This 27-year-old midfielder has been a major part in the Philadelphia Union ever since he signed in 2021. In the three years that he's lived in Philly, he's been heavily praised by his manager, teammates and the fan base. He's probably one of the most creative players in the MLS right now. And he's like a jack of all trades in everything in the midfield. Even putting in the odd tackle every now and again. Remember how Lanzini was when he first started at West Ham before he got that horrible injury? Well, I think that Gazdag's kind of like that. Except Gazdag isn't from South America. And other very notable differences. Gazdag spent his entire playing career in Hungary before he joined the Philadelphia Union in 2021 for a fee of around 1.8 million US dollars. In the 2022 season, he really started to gain attention. He was the Union's top goal scorer that season. He scored 22 goals in 34 games. And his side was the runner-up to the MLS Cup. He also scored his first MLS hat-trick that season. That was when his manager, Jim Curtin, started to say that Gazdag was a really important and vital player for the team. And a lot of good attacking players have been... Pivotal to their teams in the MLS. Look at Joseph Martinez, for example. Look at what Miguel Almiron was like at Atlanta. Look, uh, look at what Ryan Gold is like, even, for the Vancouver Whitecaps. Gazdag has 20 caps for Hungary as well, and he scored four goals for the national team. In order for you to have an understanding of what Gazdag is like, I have decided to put in some quotes from writers and coaches about him. Greg Oldfield, a sports writer from Philadelphia, is quoted as having said, Gazdag looks and plays like a 10. Jim Curtin says that Gazdag sees the game a little differently to everyone else. And that's a positive. Gazdag is very involved and contributory within his team. He scores from distance. He covers a lot of distance as well, in and out of possession. And he uses an ideology that Philadelphia uses called the green space. The green space is a fictitious area within the field which is like a square that is the free space in which the attackers are encouraged to move into in order to have that area covered by at least a couple of bodies this allows Gazda to either feed or receive the ball in this space and from that point onwards it gives him a clear route to run at goal either from shooting or passing to create a chance he acts as a provider and a scorer often in the same game. So a common bet would be with him to get a goal and assist. And it's why it's so hardly regarded in the MLS. If you have a player who can actually score and assist within the same game and just be all over the praise place like a jack of all trades, which is a term that I'm going to have to use for this, then really you've got a player who can fill in so many spaces. 
Gazdag certainly does that. Glad I've come across this name because it's one to think about. Uh, who knows? Maybe he can say goodbye to cheesesteak, Dunkin' Donuts and Krispy Kreme and just go down Dino's Cafe with Tom Skinner, eat jelly deals and try Thornton's Toffee. Is Thornton still in business though? It's been a while since I was back in the UK. Thank <laughs> you.